Rav Cook Selected Letters Chapter 2, the topic is Torah versus Other Religions Preface to Letter 7 In this letter and the two that follow it, Rav Cook comforts a friend whose sons have become non-observant and advises him to continue to treat them with love and support in their secular studies. By maintaining relations with his sons, Rav Cook says, he also maintains communications, communication and the ability to influence and teach them. Rav Cook takes this as a model for all relations with modern secularists, that men of faith should seek to draw them closer, rather than reject them. Letter 7 By the grace of God, the holy city of Jaffa may be built and established first of Adar 2, sorry, Adar Aleph, uh, 5662. This is the 13th of February, 1902. Peace, blessing and healing of spirit, my friend, the Honourable Rav, the pious a teacher, Rav Duber Milstein, may his light shine. First let me inquire into your well-being. Days, weeks and months have passed since I received your precious letter. Indeed, I am long overdue in replying. Believe, my friend, that your precious words and expression of sorrow sounded, saddened my heart as well, and I was shocked and did not know what to answer. Afterwards I concluded that silence is not proper especially since it is my humble opinion that, after all, we should never despair of any child of Israel, and also when I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. This is from Micha 7.8. I will therefore reveal to you that were, you that were your children connected to the people of Israel, at least ideolo- ideologically, and were, for instance, Chavavei Zion or Zionists, uh, Footnote, Chavavei Zion was the first modern organization formed by European Jews before the establishment of the Zionist movement to encourage agricultural settlement in Israel. It would be easy to bring back to the text, it would be easy to bring them back to the steadfast way of the Lord, because there is an important relation between Jewish national consciousness and the root of holiness that lies in faith and the fulfillment of Torah and Mitzvot. In any case, even now that they have gone far astray, you should not despair of them completely. In the end, the effect of the light of God, which has appeared for thousands of years through our holy Torah, is that today we no longer have, as in early days, that accursed minut, for which there is no repentance. Repentance. A footnote, minut, literally is sects. Disciples of uh, Jesus of Nazareth who changed the meaning of the Torah to a mistaken and paganistic interpretation. This is Rashi, Brachot 12b, the Babylonian Talmud, 1st edition, Venice, 1520-23. Rav Cook uses uh, Minut to refer to Christianity. Uh, See Orot, page 20-34. And uh, sorry if you can hear the chickens in the background. I'm reading from a farm in Moshav Amirim in the north of Israel. Start that sentence again. In the end, the effect of the light of God, which has appeared for thousands of years through our holy Torah, is that today we no longer have, as in early days, that accursed minut, for which there is no repentance. Today, even the most evil opinions are based on a search for righteousness and truth, which is, indeed, itself the way of the Lord, who commanded Abraham, our father of blessed memory, his sons and his household to do what is just and right. This is from Genesis 18.19. We find that the entire error of this generation is in what they do not know, that in order to arrive at the fine goals they desire, the children of Israel need to honour the Torah and hold fast to the faith of the Lord, blessed be he, the light and life of the entire world. For this reason, it is my opinion that, to fall on ones such as these, one must behave in this way. Explain to them that, at its foundation, their goal is truly desirable, but that it is fitting that they that they not be like a blind man in a garret. And this is from Bhava Batra 12b. Following the leaders and ideas accepted by the masses. It is well known that every new idea is born with its deficiencies and impurities, and for this reason they must be careful to purge these impurities. This process will be more accessible if they try with all their might not to distance themselves from Judaism. 
so that the eternal light, the light of God, will illuminate their souls. For then will they stand on their natural base, whole in their souls, with all their spiritual powers alive within them, and they will know within a knowledge to assess their ways and to follow each inclination according to its measure, and not to be excessively devoted to the new ideas of our time with all their impurity and waste. In my humble opinion, with this approach their hearts will soften a bit. And if you are wise enough to relate to them with love and compassion, perhaps you will be able to raise them many levels above the descent into the pit. What does not have an immediate effect will work later, and time itself will reveal their blindness, so that they will see that all these new ideas are, co are counterfeit, and in any case, they will not completely abandon their good traits, which are the desire for universal righteousness and the pursuit of justice. Yes, my friend, we will see in these days the fulfilment of the prophecy, and your voice will come softly out of the ground, from Ishayahu 29.4. We must greatly soften our sacred emotions in order to speak with our children in the way they need, and along with this to believe with complete faith that the light of God rests on each and every Jew, and that all regressions are nothing but great unintentional mistakes. For these children are in the category of one who errs in performing a mitzvah, thinking that such is their moral obligation, that which is actually the Lord's will in his world, for he, blessed be his name, loves what is just and right. Therefore, my friend, my advice to you is that, in any case, do not abandon your children, but bring them close as possible, and in the end they will certainly return. If they only begin to turn to good, their children will complete this process after them. God's mercy is great, because he acts with loving kindness in every generation. I have not yet published, published Dan Yaakov for lack of funds. May the Lord bless be he. Help us serve the Lord in truth to bring close those who are far from his light and truth, and to see quickly his salvation and glory in Zion, his holy place. And may this be for peace and blessing as is becoming your exalted soul, from a close friend who seeks your complete well-being. With much love, humbly yours, Abraham Yitzchak Kohen. I am happy that you support the Holy Land with love and, and purchase wine produced by the farmers of God's nation. May God bless you. From the Holy Land with all the best, humbly yours, Avraham Yitzhak Hakohen Cook, Igrot 113.